part of dairy farming is undoubtedly it's fueled by death. I worked there for two months as a milker and it's still hard to talk about. From that first night shift, I saw all these workers were in this milking area, striking cows with wooden canes, screaming at them. The cows did not want to enter the milking aisle because they knew that that was where a lot of the abuse happened. There were also cows who had just collapsed from overexertion and their bodies just couldn't handle it anymore. I witnessed in that milking area a cow who was a downer cow who had collapsed. They sprayed her with a high-powered water hose, and she was forced to endure workers attaching a metal hip clamp, and then attaching that hip clamp by a chain to a tractor bucket, and that was how they removed her from the milking area. The only way that you can get milk from a cow is to force the cow into pregnancy and then take the calf she gives birth to away from her. When I was at Dick Van Dam Dairy, I actually witnessed a calf in the dirt just lying there. All of a sudden, one cow just immediately walks up to the calf and she's nudging his head to try to get him to stand again. And all that he could do is lift his head up briefly before it just fell right back down into the dirt. It reminded me of that like scene from The Lion King where Simba's trying to get his dad, Mufasa, to get back up again. But in this case, this was a mother cow desperately trying to get her baby to stand. When I think about the life that Samuel is able to live, that's one of the greatest gifts that an investigator can have. I remember petting him and thinking to myself, we did it, we got out together, and you're free to live your life. I hope that people realize that there is an option available to us to be more compassionate with our food choices. So many people have been inspired to make better choices with their diet and to embrace plant-based options. And there are so many different kinds available that every day I'm seeing a new brand and it's amazing. That can influence a future where you don't have to feel guilty about what these animals are going through because I'm trying to pave a way for a future where these animals don't have to suffer like this.